Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy S22 5G. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is uh, you can hide apps with the phone. So that means if you have an app you feel uncomfortable with, uh, that no one should see this app here, then you can hide the app for other people. So may encase your TikTok, Instagram or something like this. No? So, um, just go back to the home screen, take two fingers and pinch them in like this. And then you will have this view here. Now you need to go to the settings. And if you scroll down a bit, you will have here the point hide apps. If you tap it, you have now all the apps which one are able to hide. And uh, then uh, yeah, choose the app you want to choose. May let's keep going on here with TikTok. And just go down here on done. Also, or take other apps now as well. You can take more than one. Go down on done. So let's check at the app drawer. TikTok is no more there. But how to uh, go to TikTok now if you want to use it? For that, you can use just the search bar. You so just tap on the search bar and now and uh, TikTok. Uh, and then you have here the app info. And then just go here and open and you will have TikTok. It's a bit complicated, I know, but if you really want to hide something, um, it is a nice way here to do that with the app. And if you want, you can clone also apps. That means that you can have more than one Facebook account. Right? And that means that you can have two Facebook apps here on the phone or two WhatsApp apps. Hey, why not? You can insert two SIM cards and why not using for uh, each number and own WhatsApp account. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll on here and go to the symbol for the settings. And then we need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And if we scroll down a bit again, you will have here at this point the dual messenger. So now we will have a list with all apps on our phone, which one are supported here for the feature. Um, most of the time, these are only messaging services. And then let's start maybe with WhatsApp to clone it. Go on install here, confirm. Then the phone is also asking you for a separate contact list. So uh, you can skip this part. So you can just go on next because you can always enable a second contact list later. Um, here at this point, né? use separate contact list. Né? This is an own contact list for your for all your second apps. Okay, then just let's install Snapchat, Facebook, and maybe the Messenger as well. By the way, if you want to copy, as if you want to clone Facebook or the Messenger service service here uh, of Facebook, then you need original apps. If you only have the light versions of these apps, it doesn't work. Né? You need originals. Okay, let's have a look how it looks like here at the app drawer. And as you can see, my main messenger account, my second one, my main Facebook account, my second one, my main WhatsApp account, my second one, and so on. And you can recognize always the second apps with this orange mark here at the corner. So, yeah. The next one I have is a Zoom. As you can see, the uh, text size is not that large, and so you can increase it. Now let me show you how you can do that. Just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings. Then we will need to point display, the green icon with the sun here in it. And if we scroll down a bit, we will have the option to change the font size and style. Now, this is the default here. If you want, you can add one more, then the text size is increased. If we go back now, you see that it affects really also the settings and so on. And now you can see the video maybe also a bit better. And I would really recommend to you to take this one here, the screen zoom, because this screen zoom doesn't only um, increase the text size, it increases also the icons. No? So everything is a bit bigger. But you have to take care because uh, that you don't take it too large because um, it affects also the notifications. Now, if I go back here, then uh, the notifications uh, have not that um, uh, not that big preview anymore. But it's still okay if you do it just like me now. Just put one um, step in front, and um, it is still okay. And the next point I want to show you is to make 
the phone a bit faster. At the beginning, the CPU is fast again, as it's fast enough to uh, work on it and so on. But there's some stuff uh, like these animations here. If I open an app, you see this little animation. If I close the app, um, that takes a bit of time and makes the phone slower. Let me show you one more time. I open the app, like the Play Store now, and I close the app. You see this little animation? I can remove this animation and that saves time. Let me show you how you can do that. Just scroll down here and go to the symbol for the settings. And then we need to scroll down to the point accessibility. Here it is. And here we will need the visibility enhancements. And here we will need the point remove animations. Let me show you now how it looks like. The Play Store is immediately there. The Play Store is immediately gone. Immediately there, immediately gone. Okay, if I enable now again the animations, now if I disable the removing animations, you see, you see the difference? No? I open the zoom, and now if I uh, remove these animations here, then immediately there, immediately gone. That makes your phone uh, much faster. You feel that it's faster, but it gives also your phone. Um, a better performance, especially after a few years, you know, if your phone gets slow automatically. Yeah? So I really recommend this feature to you. And we had already something for our eyes, the screen zoom and so on, but there's something more you can do for your eyes because and there's a blue light filter here included. So that means uh, basically if you're looking too often you know, on your smartphone, what we all do, um, that gives our eyes stress. I think you know this topic and so on. Right? That gives our eyes stress and so on. It affects also the sleep, by the way. You know? So if you're looking too often on, on your smartphone before you go to bed, or if you are in bed already and so on, so you don't sleep so well after. Uh, and you can enable here the blue light filter to prevent that a bit. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time, by the way, and then you have much more opportunities here. Huh? And you have a second page. And here we will need now the eye comfort shield. If I enable this feature, you will see that the color of the screen has changed already a bit. Uh, but I would recommend to you now to go here on the eye comfort shield. Basically, it's on adaptive. That means it checks, uh, also the, the camera helps the phone to check a bit the area, how dark it is, and so on. And um, enable this uh, blue light filter then in a way, um, but not that much. If you want to squeeze out the maximum from the blue light filter that your eyes protect it as much as possible, uh, then I recommend to you the custom one. Because if you have the custom one, you can change now the color temperature by your own. And the best is to have it at, as maximum as possible. <laughs> you see, it affects a bit the screen. Not only a bit, but it affects the screen. Huh? Uh, but what is more important, huh? I think your eyes are more important because you have just a pair, one pair of eyes. Huh? So please take care. And uh, if you say, okay, ah, oh, that's too much and so on, uh, I want to have um, it only at the evening, it is also possible to set it up. No? Just go on details and then you can go on chat to it. No? And go to sunset to sunrise and then you have this blue light filter only in the evening. Yeah? So if the sun sets, uh, so if the sun rises, I'm sorry, then uh, the blue light filter, no, if the sun sets, the blue light filter will turn on and if the sun rises, then um, the blue light filter will turn off automatically. And there's something else, what supports, uh, which one supports that uh, feature here? No? Um, let me go back. No? Let me go back again here. Scroll down, scroll down, taking time. Go on the second page. There's another thing. No? If I enable now the dark mode, no? next to that protects your eyes as well in the evening. So um, everything was, was uh, too bright, no? went into a dark mode. Let's have a look at the settings. Everything is dark right now. Eh? And um, by the way, uh, on the day, this feature, I would not recommend this to you because uh, if there's a lot of sunlight, you have problems to see your screen and so on. Um, but here I would re recommend to you to schedule it. Like just go here on dark mode, 
go on details. Also on the written word dark mode, go on the details. And then you have to turn on this feature here as scheduled. That means whenever the sunset well, turns on and the sun rises, <laughs> as I said, a bit complicated before, uh, the dark mode will turn off. So um, this feature you should set up. And by the way, the dark mode, uh, I use um, the OLED screen. So that means uh, the pixels where the screen is dark, completely dark, turn off and that saves energy. So think about our planet. And uh, also an energy saving point is the next one. This one could save your life one day because there's a very nice power mode here included. So let me show you a bit more about. First of all, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time. And then you will have here the power saving mode. So if you enable this, this um, the Brightness of the screen reduces to 10% and also the CPU speed is now a bit limited, I think 30%, something like this, and uh, that saves energy, that saves energy. So let me turn it off because I want to show you another step, a step if you're really in need of energy and you have no chance to charge your phone and so on. Just tap here on the written words, power saving. So then go on details. So. If you add here the last point, limit apps and home screen. Okay, let me on now the power saving mode. And now you, you are on this screen here. Right? So everything is dark as we have learned. This saves energy because the pixels are turned off and uh, the apps are limited here. Uh, also, the screen uh, timeout uh, uh, will is just enabled after 15 seconds. That uh, saves also a lot of energy. So you have to tap sometimes here on the screen, that means, if you want to have it active. And uh, yeah, we have minimized the apps here. We have just four apps available. You know? So the main apps, and you can add also some other apps, maybe if you want to have WhatsApp or something like this. What is not possible here that you can have the cloned apps. It just doesn't work, but you can have the main apps like WhatsApp, Gmail. Uh, and so on. And um, that power saving mode can really save your life one day because that power saving mode is increasing the battery life for three times. That means if you have just one day to go, you have now three days to go. And as I said, this can really save your life one day. And if you're um, ready again to charge your phone, if you have a chance to charge your phone, just go on three points here, go on turn off power saving mode, and then you're back in the regular mode. And by the way, there's no data uh, which one uh, have a problem or something like this, so no data will be deleted with that process. So it can really work basically as you do as usual. Um, so no problem. Yeah. Okay, and if you want to uh, uh, enable it later one day, you just tap here on the battery on the icon and you go directly in the power saving mode without because you have set it up before. Ne? Um, a very nice mode really um, you should do that. Okay the next one I want to show you is a sidebar. No? Almost invisible but here if you swipe in from here you have your favorite apps here. No? And uh, if you say okay I don't uh, agree really with these apps um, I want to have a special one there then just go here on the three bars or so the hamburger menu and then you have the chance here to edit this part. No? Um, yeah, if you use it for the very first time, he's asking you for an update. We can skip that here. And they may say, okay, I don't want to hear Samsung Duo or something like this. Now I want to have my WhatsApp, maybe. No? Then go there and then just close it. And whenever you swipe in now the sidebar, you will have WhatsApp. And by the way, this uh, sidebar is very useful because you can use your phone with one hand. Just swipe it out like this and you have your sidebar and um, everything is available, uh, available with one hand. And if you want to use your phone with one hand, there's another mode which one supports that also. You can minimize the screen. Let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here then go to the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And here we need the point one-handed mode. That mode has to be enabled. And whenever you scroll down now, the home button, you will have this mini screen. 
button. Eh? Now I can do everything what I want to do here with one hand. Now I have full access also to apps and so on. I can even play games on the mini screen and so on. So you have the full access here on the phone. And by the way, if you are left-handed, just tap you on the arrow and you have it on the other side. Eh? Very nice. And as we have learned, we have here um, also um, an energy saver no? because we have a dark mode here uh, around this um, screen and uh, that saves energy as well. Uh, I think a cool tool. And whenever you're ready with to say, okay, I want to use now my second hand, then just tap on the outside and you're back at a regular mode. Yeah, that has been the 10 first things I recommend to you to do. And uh, I wish you a lot of fun with the phone and maybe if you have a bit of time, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or maybe just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Uh, thank you so, so much for your support and uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.